So Albert, we've, uh, we've just had Lord Jones um, talking at the Harvey Nash event. We've spoken already with uh, Paul Smith um, from Harvey Nash. I'd just like to ask you a quick question about your interpretation of uh, Lord Jones's uh, speech on leadership. Could you tell us what key points do you agree with that he mentioned and what's the Harvey Nash position on sort of international leadership? Yes, well, Lord Jones is very, very uh, vocal on leadership, on skills, and really he loves to talk about Britain's leadership in the world, in trade and, 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 in, and in values. I think this morning he was very, very clear about the political leadership. What he said is that our economy is not going to move forward if we don't fill the political vacuum which we currently have. He wants to see leadership, strong leadership in the political realm. He used the expenses stories and those current media stories to illustrate some of the fundamental issues that they face at Westminster. That's on the political side. On the business side, he made some interesting, strong remarks about the way the media continues to, and in, in, in quotes, bash bankers. He said we've got to stop bashing bankers and he actually reminded the audience that many of the bankers that are associated with the failures of the past had actually been removed and we needed to back the new leadership teams uh, to help us get recover from, from the crisis that we're in. And, and as, the, as the economy goes from recession into recovery, there, there certainly seems to be a new style of leadership emerging, one which is, certainly has more sort of morals and ethics at its core. A lot of it was driven by those bankers that, as you rightly said, have, have now moved on. Um, do you uh, accept that there's a new style of leadership coming in which is, which is more ethical? Well, if you take the uh, analogy of the carbon footprint and you, put, and you call it a values footprint, I think we're going to be facing a debate now in business increasingly, and it's led by parts of the media as well, about our values footprint in society and in community. So you, you look at the way that um, some business people have been treated either by the press or even by the public and the anger and the resentment that's, that, that's, been, that's been demonstrated. So business is going to face and has to be held accountable for its values as well as its performance. Now, at Harvey Nash two years ago, we headlined at the CBI conference 2007 about business reputation and we said business we called on business to examine themselves particularly the leadership because we said it came from the top that they would examine themselves and look at their values and how their reputations in the market in particular how those reputations would play with the new generation the future workers generation Y coming into the workforce now who will be the CEOs the CFOs and the chairman of the future so those th those new generation of leaders are going to have slightly different traits to the older generation the new every generation is different and this generation is quite strong particularly on voluntary work we see a lot of the focus of the current generation on voluntary on public spiritedness and I think when they look at the previous generation and they associate much of the failure of our global economy in the last year on the previous generation indeed their own parents I believe they're going to be looking for a completely different value proposition from their prospective employers it's going to be about values it's going to be about what those employers those brands are, are doing in the community and also how those brands are associated with, um, with, 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 with how, how their companies behave. Fantastic. Albert, thank you very much for your time.